they say that deeper the love, the deeper the grief. And I'm still grieving so deeply. And people would hug me and say, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And certain people would say, I know how you feel. And I'd say, have you lost a parent? Have you lost a mother or father? And they would say, no. And then I would say, you have no idea how I feel. Because I knew it was going to feel bad, but I had no idea it was going to hurt this much. Writing this book was a great catharsis. It brought me a lot of joy because not only was I able to share experiences I had with my dad and what a wonderful person he was, it reminded me of what a great writer that he was. It's called My Dad, My Dying Son, son spelled S-U-N, because my dad was the inspiration, the light of my life. He guided me. He made me the man I am today. That's why it's son. He was the sun in my life, the brightness, the positivity. He cared so much about his children. And I'll tell you about my dad's history. He was born poor to um, immigrants of Lebanese descent that came here through Ellis Island. And his first memory was of seeing the police arrest his father for making bad to obtain a prohibition. He was bored poor, but guess what? He overcame that, he succeeded. He became the most prolific sports author of his generation. For three decades, there was nobody more famous in the world of sports writing than Louis Ahadi. And I'm so proud of it. Well, at one point, my dad was considered more famous than I. And then eventually, I took the mat and became more famous than him. But my dad never was so jealous. He was so happy, he was so proud that the son that he could create and mold became this, you know, person who won 27 Pro Max Gold Medallion Awards in the World Professional Wrestling and two sports Emmys. He was just so proud, not envious at all. It's funny because we have different writing styles. And my dad always said, I can't write like you do. I'm a little more spiritual and a lot of prose when I write. But then reading my dad's books, I saw a lot of the way I write in the head. So it was already instilled in me. And I realized as I was writing this book and it was coming together, my writing style was meshed with his writing style. Now, the book has several layers to it, but it's got two components. One is chapter one, the day I brought him home on October 2nd, 2020. And every odd chapter is about his recovery. You know what happens? Every even chapter is a chapter of one of his books. Like we end chapter one by saying that we're praying on a miracle. Chapter two is his words, the miracle in Miami, when the Jets won the Super Bowl against all odds. Just as my dad was winning his battle against all odds. So I discovered a lot of myself in him in writing his words. And I realized, wow, what an amazing author he was. You know, he had talent, he was great. And not only did he author 31 books, but he wrote tens of thousands of magazine articles and published four monthly magazines, one on football, baseball, basketball, and wrestling called Pro Wrestling C. So he was working his butt off just so his children kept a better life than he could. Love is such a beautiful thing. It's really our story about the blessed lives we live together in each other's company and amongst the shadows of legends in our respective fields. A lot of wrestling and a lot of sport stories, but truly the connection between a father and a son. I think anybody can relate to this. Anybody who has a deep connection or love between a parent and a child, or a husband and a wife, or a lover or a lover, anybody that has no love on a deep level can relate to this book just because it really is a story of love. He's probably the greatest man that ever lived and the greatest father anyone can ever have. Papa, look who's here. What's it called, my Uber? I walked here from Chattanooga, Papa, to watch a Yankee game with you tonight. Love you. Oh, you look good, Papa.